was carrying, especially with all the refugees who used to come to Pakistan. It was the cross border of the Muslim civilization in the greater India, in the good old days when the Afghan used to come. There was nothing called Afghan, Pakistan, and others. So they represent this kind of very rich history, not only in civilization, very rich history. Very rich achieving, uh, very rich history of achievement. Okay, diverse culture, very diverse culture, <coughs> languages, and visions, and even climate. You look from Balochistan to KPK to Sin to Kashmir to others. You are not a normal country which have got one language, <coughs> one culture, one history. Very few countries are like this. And they can be one of the most advanced countries. They can be one of the most advanced countries if we put our heads together. But the gap between the rich and poor is huge. I tell you something, I think uh, once upon a time I was traveling between Karachi and uh, Islamabad. And they saw the landlords and we mix with the landless people. And they don't know why I started crying the whole journey between no, Islamabad and Karachi, not, not vice versa. Islamabad and Karachi. Because they couldn't be able to realize that there's a huge, unimaginable, unimaginable gap between these two. That's why my sentiment went more and more to uplift with you uh, this uh, landless people. Is it called landless here? Yes. Or uh, who are working class, still earning a few hundred rupees every month or every quarter, I don't know how much is the income. This is between the richness of the history and the suffering of the people, the love comes. See, it's not just something because you have got beautiful scenes or beautiful woman or whatever it is. No, or you could have benefit from you. It's a mix of feeling to empower and enriching the history that they created when they were actually actually focusing on the country or the citizens of the country. Those.